how's it going everybody? This is Etho, and we are back again, guys, with another episode of the Terraforma Craft. So in the last episode, guys, we went on a little adventure. We've got a whole bunch of food pretty much ready for the winter time here. We won't starve to death or anything like that. Uh, we were in particular looking for reeds, though, so we can make some paper. And we did not find any. So we were trying to do this quest here, right? Um... I did some checking into it. Apparently, you got to go to like minus 6,000, maybe 7,000. We're at like minus 9,000 here. So, if we traveled two to 3,000 blocks, we should be able to find it. We might end up doing that again today. Just really quickly here. But I thought we'd, we would check out some of these other quests in the book. There's a lot of easy ones we can knock out of here. That's really loud, isn't it? <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so we got to. Uh, Reward bag to check out. Ah, look at this. Birch support beam. A fence gate. And a tool rack. That's a really weird assortment of things. Uh-huh. We're, we're going to use all of them, though. This definitely goes somewhere. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just get, I want it out of my inventory. That goes there, obviously. Okay, so... Let's see here. We gotta go fishing now, right? Double check. Yeah, so it wants us to catch some fish. So that's one thing we can do in the winter time if we ever run out of food in this. There's always option to go fishing. Or we can scrounge the ocean for seaweed. Those are like your emergency food items in Terra Firma Craft. Let's try out the fishing. Last th last time I remembered it was a little different than normal fishing, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, you get a bite and stuff. Oh, I totally forgot how to do this. Is it just hold right click? You can actually see the fish on the rod. It's so weird. Oh, and you get XP and stuff. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so if I just if I just right click like a normal fishing rod, it seems to just drop. So I think I got to like hold right click and cast it like a real fishing rod, right? Oh, yeah, you see it's charging up. It's charging up. Bam. Whoa, look at that. Launch that thing. I can't even see anything. It's so far away. Let's go a little closer. <laughs> can't see if I got a fish or not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pretty exciting stuff here. We caught that first one, like, right away. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, there's a trick to this, too. I think you don't want to hold right-click... When it's when the fishing rod is curved, right? That means it's under too much tension. Maybe I don't know. Let's just hold right click. Let's see if it breaks. It doesn't seem to. I'm wondering if. Well, it's not really getting any closer though either, is it? So maybe you gotta. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this works. He's not. We're not getting it though. You gotta once it straightens out, you hold right click, and then I think it pulls it in a little bit every time. I think is the idea. Mhm. Mm so those two fish combined equals 3.3 ounces of food, even in an emergency situation in winter time here. That's probably not enough to survive. Like that's like the time it takes you to catch a fish, you're probably burning more food. <laughs> so fishing is like a last option. It's not something we want to do. Uh, so the book says to cut and clean this raw fish into a healthy meal. Maybe I'm supposed to cut it before I cook it, actually. Oh, yeah, it's cooked now. We got rare. Oh, bitterness just turned from not bitter to bitter. Something you want in your fish, right? Oh, now it's not bitter. Interesting. Okay, it's, it's hot. It's, I think it's done. I think throughout... All of Project Ozone, I never came across a consume task. Like, most of them were either crafting tasks, where you have to craft an item, or you just have to have it in your inventory, like a detection task. This is a consume task, so I think we actually have to eat our fish now to trigger this. Huh? It didn't work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know. It's, a, it's an optional one, though, so it looks like we don't have to do this. I gotta figure out how to shut those backups off. I, I make my own backups. Oh, here we go. Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. 
So we just gotta get to the land. Oh, he still fights around even on the land. <laughs> That's cool. How did I guess we gotta just reel it in all the way? Because even when he's on the land, like if I try to pull him out of the water, it doesn't count. Come on. Or do we have to touch it to get it? There we go. We got it. I think yeah. I think what it is, we actually gotta eat raw fish. Maybe. Let's try that out. No, you can't eat raw fish. It doesn't let you. Oh, wait a minute. We can craft raw fish. Huh? Oh, we figured it out. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So it uses up the raw fish and it gives us five ounces of, of the terra firma craft fish. For future reference, if we ever see consume task, that means we don't have to eat the item. It means it takes the item from us and gives us a different one. Okay. <laughs> uh, Got to figure it out now. Very good. Very good. Uh, so we can make some arrows real quick here. In terra firma craft, it is just, uh, it's actually pretty simple, isn't it? I think we did get some feathers already too. There we go. We got nine of them. Excellent. Okay, so we do this, and we do that, and we can make arrows for our for our bow. We get the pew pews. Yeah, you know, I don't remember if we get flint from gravel in this, so just on the safe side, because I know how to get feathers and sticks, we might not know how to get get flint, so I'm going to pick that as our reward here for making arrows. We got 32 arrows. Made a few more off camera. And now I also, it's not part of the quest, but I want to get a quiver as well so that we can hold the arrows and, and take them with us when we travel so i think our leather is ready yeah we got six pieces in here okay so i think we have to have a knife in our inventory and then i think we just right click don't mess it up don't mess it up leather is expensive <laughs> all right there we go we got a quiver cool and i think that just goes on our back yeah, and now we got uh, arrows and javelins. This can hold arrows and javelins. I don't know how to put them in, though. That's the only problem. If we just throw these on the ground and pick them up, do you think it'll put in for us? We got two in there. How did that happen? Hey, that's working. Okay, I think I got it figured out now. It's actually pretty cool. So it's like a container. You can right-click it and open it up here, and you see our arrows and our javelins inside. You got eight slots, so you can mix and match them however you want. Nice thing is you don't have to have the arrows and javelins in your inventory, really, so it saves a lot of inventory space. But look at this. If I throw a javelin, it automatically pulls one out of the quiver, and we got another one, and another one, and now we're out. And then when we go to pick them up again, if we have one in our hotbar already, they go right into the quiver. So it always makes sure you have one ready to go. Like if you're in a fight and you pick it up again, you don't have to take it off. Okay, all three went back in here. I got to pull one out. And <laughs> you know, it, it's it's smart like that. And then likewise with the arrows, it just automatically pulls them out and puts them back in, which is really nice. So it's actually a very useful thing to have because there's a lot of things in Terra Farmer Craft in this mod pack that we don't want to get close to. We want to fight them from a distance. I guess I had some knives. I just made more. We're going to put the tool rack to use. If I don't see them, I don't think I have them, you know. We want, we want them on display. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, next quest here, we got to go find some golden rod. Feed our buddies while we're at it. While we're passing by here. Uh-huh. And, you know, I haven't fed the widow in a long time. She's too far away. <laughs> Until we get rope, we can't really move the animals around, unfortunately. So these are the closest guys to our place. All right, let's go for, I think, uh, I think strawberries. They're the ticket here. They're the secrets. So that's all good. Have we unlocked any new chains? Oh, we have. Look at this. The sharpshooter's unlocked now. Aha, uh -huh. that's the main reason I want to do these easy quests, is so we can start unlocking new stuff. And maybe explore things we've never tried before, like rope. A task where the player needs rope. Aha. Uh -huh. How do we get rope? Let's find out. Rope. Do I need jute? Because we don't have jute. Ropes plus. Okay. Oh, yeah. It wants, uh, it wants jute. <laughs> That's not happening for a long time. Oh, there's grappling hooks. I love grappling hooks and hook shots. Oh, that would be so cool. We don't have it, though. We can't do it. 
Did we only get one sapling off of this? We only got... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, just, I just did a harvest on our exotic trees. We only got one sapling off of this one. And I don't think we got a sapling off of the, the spruce tree, so... We can't grow any more spruce wood. Well, I think that's the end of uh, end of the steak there. Chat down some strawberries. Uh, we should check our food when we go back to base that we got from our trip, just to make sure it's not spoiling on us. Oh man, I was just looking at some of the recording already, and I had like a nose whistle thing going on in some of the earlier video. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened to me before. I think it's cleared up now. I think we're okay. I think everything's fine. So let's check our food. In-game, I think it's been five days since we got back from that big trip where we grabbed a bunch of food. I just want to make sure it's not spoiling on us. So we, when we unseal here, 1.3, 1.6, 2.3 decay. So the more decay the food has on it, the quicker it's going to spoil. So you want to do a check every so often. Maybe take it out. Cut the excess uh, garbage off of it. Just do a decay cut off, put it back in so it'll last longer that way. If you just leave it and let it build up decay, it'll it'll consume the food a lot quicker. Now that we did all these quests, I finally noticed it says unlocks one quest elsewhere. <laughs> so this is probably the one we actually need to do to unlock more of these chains. So let's do that one. Uh, it wants us to make four, four of these jugs and four bowls. If I remember it, the bowls offhand. This is what we need for the salads and stuff. No, I don't remember, really. I thought for sure it was that. Oh, what a... Oh. <laughs> really? I was so close. So close. Positioning matters, maybe? No, what? I don't know. I don't know. What's going on here? What am I doing wrong? I don't get it. Oh. Maybe maybe that was a glitch because I looked in the inventory and it didn't reset or something. Okay, anyways, we get the we get a few bowls and then we need some jugs. And I should have checked this one. I'm trying to I'm testing my memory, you know? I wanna see if I can I can figure it out here. <laughs> <laughs> been a while okay I was kind of close let's actually uh, cook up a whole bunch of stuff here so we're gonna have our jugs we're gonna have our bowls uh, I made a thing for a shovel another jar and honestly we're kind of at the point where we can start making anvils uh, I was just looking at what it costs anvils you guys remember the anvils oh my goodness they're so expensive <laughs> so you need these double ingots which is two Two other ingots. So we're going to need like a whole bunch of uh, these molds for casting. Oh, I had it and I just wrecked it. Okay, let's make a... Let's make one of these instead. Just so we don't waste the clay. Yeah, we want these clay molds. A whole bunch of them. So we're going to try... Oh. I messed it up. Can I, can I get anything out of this? I don't think so. I think that one's wrecked. Uh-huh. I was never very good at, like, coloring in the lines and stuff, you know? <laughs> it's like my my worst task here, trying to shape things out of clay. Okay, let's make a whole bunch of these as well. Uh, slowly break the, the dirt here, because we don't have a shovel. All right, get, get four more of these down. And I guess we'll cook up this other thing we made by mistake. Although these are pretty good. Like, they seem to preserve the food better than anything we have right now these vessels. So that's good. Uh, I'll fill these up with straw. Alright, I just chopped down a couple more trees, so I think we have enough logs now. Fill these up. This is going to be our biggest cookout ever, guys. Ah, I hate when I do that. <laughs> it's the most annoying thing. Here, let's actually just throw one on the ground so I don't make that mistake again. Because we had like an odd number there. We had nine instead of eight. Alright, perfect. Pick this one back up so we don't waste it. Uh, throw the torch here, and it should light them all, I think, right? Does, like, a chain reaction. Bam! Look at that! Oh, and look at the timing. It's perfect. We're gonna go to sleep, and it's gonna be done in the morning. Oh, I gotta eat something before before we go to bed here, or I'm gonna die, probably. 
Three percent decay on there. Yeah, we're, we're we're chewing through our food here pretty quick, actually. This is our last steak. We might have to go hunting or something. Okay, that should be enough of a midnight snack though to get through the night. There goes our food again. <laughs> it goes quickly. It really does. Yeah, what do we got left here? Seven ounces. Yeah, that's almost all gone too now. Uh huh. Wash out that, that our morning breath, you know. Okay, so this is all done. That's great. Uh, means the quest should be good to go here once we pick these up. Uh huh. Get the jugs. Okay, very good, very good. So let's check this out. Oh, we got two unlocked. These two quests just got added. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we can go for seaweed, mmm, cabbage, red bell pepper. Or soybeans. I think, I think, uh, I think we want the soybeans actually. Oh, claim it. Oh, I need, uh, I need inventory space, don't I? Uh, okay, okay. Can we put these in here? Yeah. Let's drop some stuff off. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Cool. We got a good reward bag. I think that's the best one so far. A door. Gooseberry bush. Okay, that's a cool thing to get. Wow, yeah, that's what we needed. Right there, guys. We got our lone gooseberry bush over there now. Looks fantastic. And the front door really ties the place together. All right? I think it's perfect. <laughs> All right, we will build it eventually. We just need a whole lot of materials is the problem. Um, and we barely got, barely got our good tools and stuff ready. Okay, so this one's... Oh, it, it's going to give us reeds, guys. So we don't have to go hunt them. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Whole bunch of random stuff. Let's let's plant these and get them growing then. Oh, that's going to save us a huge trip. Because, like, walking 3,000 blocks in Minecraft takes a long time. <laughs> I wasn't really looking forward to going on another trip. So if they'll just grow, that's great. Oh, and look at this, guys. We got the blacksmith chain unlocked, which is great. Let's check this out. What's it want us to do? Uh, gold pan. Okay, that's... I think we might have done that already, but let's do it again. So, just uh, one of those ceramic bowls we made. We put in our crafting. And now we have a gold pan. Easy peasy. I'll show you how this works. Uh, I don't think we actually need to do this in, in this playthrough. But I know sometimes when I play Terraforma Craft, like, it is impossible to find ores. Uh, like, you, you'll you have to really look for them. In this mod pack, they seem to be all over the place. I don't know if it's because we got a really lucky seed, or if they up the... Uh... Oh, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> do we need gravel? I think we need gravel, don't we? Yeah, it says this must be under flowing water. So I think the trick is we have to find a place. Usually you do this by the ocean or on a beach or something where there's lots of sand and gravel. But you have to have flowing water. And then you you wash it. So we just got a platinum nugget from that. And then we re refill our bowl with the gravel there. Wash it again. Gravel. Wash it. And you can get some copper and some other little nuggets by doing this. So if you're desperate for metal, if you can't find any on the ground anywhere to get like your first pick or whatever, this is kind of what you do. Uh, but yeah, we got pretty lucky in this mod pack, so it's not an issue for us for sure. I think, yeah, it'll eventually use up the gravel too. And I think there's a limit on how many times you can do it per chunk. So you might have to go to a different location. Um, we might end up doing that eventually, like if we need gold or something, you can get gold that way as well. But it's, it's a little bit more rare than getting copper and stuff. Uh-huh. Anyways, so that's cool. That's done. We just made molds. Man, this is working out great. Peach tree we have. Plum we have. Olive we have. Okay. We are just, like, so advanced we don't need anything here. <laughs> okay. Just in case oil is a thing and we want more olive trees, we'll, we'll go for that. And now it wants us to start making copper. Okay, so that's that's kind of what I wanted to do today. And I wanted to get these quests unlocked in case uh, it wanted us to do that. Yeah, so I think, I could be wrong about this, but I believe we have two options on how to get the copper. Uh, one way is to do a pit kiln, like fill this up of copper. 
melt it down, and then pour it into our molds that we just made. And then we get ingots that way. Or I think because we kind of jumped ahead here, we might be able to do it in the forge. If you have... I think if you have the molds up here and you melt copper in here, it will automatically go in those. But I could be wrong about that. We'll find out. So let's grab our copper and we'll start melting it down. Should we test it? Should we just do one? Will it go in here even? Oh, it doesn't go in there? Oh, really? I thought we could do that. <laughs> okay, uh, never mind, never mind. Uh, really, I thought I thought we were allowed to do that. Okay, so I guess we gotta do it the pit kiln way. Uh-huh, our cranberries are ready. Excellent, first harvest on those. There was another quest I saw, though. It wants us to get some glass and stuff, so let's do that while we got the forge booted up here. If I can find... This, this organization system is not working for me. There it is. Okay, let's cook up as much sand as we can with that coal. I think it wants us to make bottles. Mm, hots. Hot star. Hot two star. Three star. Four. Very hot. Dark red. So it goes faint red, then dark red, and then it, then it's done. Excellent. Okay, so we got a little bit of glass. Um, let's check this out. I think it was in the survivalist. Just wanted us to make some bottles. How many? Just three bottles. Okay, that should be good to go then. Excellent. And also, I saw there's another one just for making walls. So that's pretty easy as well. Go ahead and do those. Cool, that's done. It's going to give us a piece of soul sand. I wonder what we would use that for. It's kind of an odd reward. Oh, did we make the wrong kind of walls? Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Because we did marble. Uh-huh. I kind of wanted these for building, too, though. <laughs> I was going to wrap it around like this. Uh-huh. Very nice, very nice. We gotta, we gotta start making things look a little nicer around here. I'm, I'm not doing a good job on that. Ah, good enough. Oh, actually, we gotta, we gotta move here, guys. We gotta move it. <laughs> the sun is setting right now. This uh, would be a good time to do a pit kill if we're doing this copper thing. We don't have as much as I thought. There's only enough to like fill up one, one jar, I think. Oh man. Okay, that's all it's gonna be then. That's all it's gonna be. Should give us a lot of copper, though. So we're going to fill up a jar over here. And I guess let's make sure we don't waste our stuff here. So we'll just make more of these. Can never have enough of these. Like if we ever need something to make, we can always just make these. Excellent. Fill us up a straw. And I don't know. Can we mix and match logs? Because I'm out of wood again. I don't really want to use our, our aspen logs for burning, but we will if... It'll let us. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good. Throw that. Let's get ready to sleep real quick here before we die. Is it going? It's going. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we don't want the mobs spawning. Having this bed has been the greatest thing ever. Okay, and it's finished because we fast-forwarded time. So that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and start casting this stuff. I guess, yeah, let's just do this. If we're really quick, we can maybe do some anvil stuff here, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think we got to do it in the forge. Yeah, we're having some serious issues here. Okay, pop these out. I remember now, it's it's really hard working with the metal because you run out of inventory space. Oh, we broke a mold. So we're just going to throw those on the ground for right now. Uh, like, we got to finish getting this copper out of here before it solidifies. See if we can do this really quickly. I don't remember how to make a hammer. I think it was like this, maybe like this. There it is. Okay, we got it figured out. Excellent. I think this stuff in the jar does solidify slower than like the in the ingots. So if we right click. No, it's not gonna work. Okay, I think we need to use granite or some type of block that's stronger. Marble is like one of the softer materials. Okay, that's still liquid, liquid. This one's done. That one's done. Throw those out of our inventory so we have some space. Okay. 
Oh, what's that say? Danger can weld. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Four hundred more we need here. Okay, we just need one more mold. One more mold. This one's done. Okay, pop that out. Excellent. And, whew, we did it. <laughs> just in time. It's a good thing we didn't do more than this, because uh, I don't think we would have got it all out of the the vessel in time. Okay, so are these cooled down? Not yet, really. What do we do about this mess now? I guess let's go ahead and maybe make some chests. I feel like we need to do that. Or stuff is going to despawn on us here now. Okay. So we get some chests. We should always have like chests near our work workstation here by our blacksmith. Um, I'm just going to put this stuff in here. Oh no, you can't put those in there. I forgot. We can put these in here though. Ingots you need to stack. Okay, but we can get these off the ground at least. There we go. Okay. Whew. Okay, so that was a little bit of a panicked mess there. But basically, I was trying to get a stone anvil going. Like, before you can make a copper anvil, you need a stone anvil. This requires 14 copper ingots, which we made 15. So we have enough to do that now. But to get a stone anvil, you just right-click it with a, a hammer. One of these stone blocks. But it can't be marble. It has to be like granite or uh, I think diorite's one you can use or some harder material. So we might have to go look for that sometime because I don't think we've come across any of the hard hard types of rocks yet. Um, but once we get an anvil, we can start welding our ingots together to make these double ingots. But we have to do it while they're hot, while they're weldable, which is what that, that welding thing was about. These are all cooled down now because we slept. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if you're quick, if you're really good at the whole metalworking thing, <laughs> after you cast it in the in the ingot cast, you can pop them out and then like quickly do some anvil work. That way you don't have to reheat them later on the forge here to get them back up to temperature. So I was trying to do that and I, I just failed miserably. But check this out. This is one of my favorite things about the whole metalworking thing. After you get all your ingots, you can place them on the ground like that. You stack them <laughs> in ingot form. And it looks really cool. Especially when you get like all kinds of different colors of ingots and, and you put them next to each other. I just love I love how that looks. Uh-huh. It feels very satisfying. Uh, anyways, so we got our copper. I think we got that all cleaned up now. Let's go ahead and... Hand in that quest, and I think we'll probably have to wrap up the episode here for today. Oh yeah, so it wants us to make the, the anvil next here on this chain. And it didn't give us a, a stone block like I was hoping. <laughs> I was hoping it would just give us a granite block so we could make the, the anvil. Oh, it'll give us a full heart though. Some peat, that's some fuel. Okay. We Yeah, we skipped making a copper saw. We went right to bismuth bronze. So it didn't give us those. I guess we'll have to make those too. Uh, the reward for this one. Did any of them give us rock? No. Oh, wait. What's this? This gives us a whole bunch of stuff. It wants us to make a willow tree farm. Huh. Uh-huh. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> that doesn't go there. Uh, but thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.